everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Day two, day two of planting. Holy smokes, Batman, we had a busy morning. We got Sable there, the little grease monkeys running around greasing the planter. Just remember when you get a bunch of grease and stuff on your fingers, just rub your nose quite often. All right, new field. Um, just got in here, filled up with seed. Now we gotta go in here and put our name of our seed in. So we're doing champion. I think it's 60 A20. All right, we're here. So we'll go over to the corner here and uh, we'll do the outline. First thing is, since I did all the mapping and the foiler, all my patterns are already here. So we're gonna find what we want. We want this one. All right, now we're set up. We should be good to plant. Everybody wave hi to dad. Gosh, that's loud. Hey dad, got the goods. All right, dad, you're under pressure. Let's see what you can do. Oh, we got crooked rows. Oh, you can stay in there. Yeah, we gotta look for the best. Let's do it. How's it going, Coop? Going. Now, for some reason, the boundaries around all of our waterways that Cooper made with the four-wheeler, they just randomly disappeared. They were all there the other day, and none of our fields have them anymore. So we don't know what in the world happened. I'm gonna run back to my sprayer monitor because I know for a fact I had boundaries in there yesterday. So I'm gonna see if I can pull some files off that and bring them back out here. But in the meantime, he's gonna keep planting. Uh oh, I don't wanna do that. It'd probably help if I turned my battery on. At night, we like to shut the battery shutoffs off on our equipment just in case you left something on accidentally. Then you don't get out into the field and have a dead battery the next morning. I feel like I'm in a movie where I'm like a spy stealing stuff. I think we need export setup. Perfect. No, oh, quick, hide it before the guards come. Well, yeah. Okay, I'll be over in a little bit. Cooper just called me and said, he needs diesel fuel now. Oh, hey, look at that. The Thunder Creek fuel trailer from Nessa Supply is already hooked into the dually. It's like he was waiting for me. With auto steer now, I don't even have to drive. So the only thing I got to sit here and worry about is my hair. Now, if I didn't have auto steer, I'd be paying attention to where I was driving. I'd be paying attention to trying to follow my line. Those every so often, I probably should look at the planner back there just to make sure everything's okay. Being pretty embarrassing sitting here talking to you, not paying attention, turn around, Half a mile ago, the planter fell off. Speaking of half a mile, this field that we are in right now, I am on mile long rows. I just get to bounce across the field, and doing about 5.5 miles per hour right now. The planter's just back there, trailing along, enjoying the ride. He said, we're gonna have to turn around up here. And then I actually have to put my hands on the steering wheel. Careful, careful, don't hit the pole! Hi, Cooper. Here, Coop, try these. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little frustrated because all of our inner field boundaries have just disappeared. By inner field boundary, I mean, Cooper drove along the edge of all these waterways with the four-wheeler mapping the boundary. So that way, when you pass through the waterway, it tells the planner, hey, this isn't part of the field. So it shuts off for while you're in the grass. And once you get into the field on the other side, it turns back on. So over the course of 2000 acres, we have quite a few waterways in our fields. And it basically comes up to you're planting 25 acres worth of grass that doesn't produce a crop. So it's about four grand in seed that we're losing by not having this work. So it's just frustrating. We don't know what happened to our files. They were there yesterday and now they're gone. I'm positive it was something we did. We overrode it somehow or something or maybe we didn't do it right i don't know it's not an ag leader thing it's an us thing but it's frustrating all right you're full of dinosaur bones ah oh, geez now who's calling me hello okay wait there a minute all right dad said he needed fuel oh dad where are you at you're making me wait it's all right as as i can nap in the meantime oh holy cow it is breezy out. It's getting warmer though, I like that. How you making out? I think I got 57 acres down here. Ow, I got diesel fuel on the trailer. And on the tire. Mop! Nice looking beans. Oh, 
Neva just brought me out lunch and I don't know, she must be like a mind reader or something. She brought me out Doritos. Oh yes, Doritos, I love Doritos. I thought she said she brought me out pizza. She brought me out a sandwich. Oh, there's a slice of pizza on the bottom. I'm gonna be in heaven here while I'm eating. I'm gonna get back on the line, hit auto steer, let the planter do his thing and I can eat. Okay dad, see you a little bit. He'll be good on fuel for the rest of the day, but I need to take the seed tender here, go back to my house, gotta load up with two new seed boxes. Ooh, looks like Ronnie's back for another load. And I'd say he's pretty full. <laughs> back and forth we go, cruising along the field here. Everything's going good. We've got 69 acres done so far on this field. Still playing that champion number. It's gonna be kind of close on this field. Um, the tender's here, but I'm hoping I don't have to fill up. We should be running out of seed shortly, but we only got their one round or one pass left, depending on what it looks like here. Keeping her at about 4, 8 to 5 is what um, I'm pulling at. You can be quiet. Um, but when I go up to like 5.5, my seat, my spacing quality drops down to like 93%. So I'm just kind of keeping it up here um, at that 4.5 to 5. I wish this thing would shut up. Um, yeah. Seems like we're getting our Yetter. Row cleaners adjusted quite well. Um, was struggling a little bit with them, getting them set up, but it uh, seems like they're working pretty good now. If you're wondering my numbers, these are my numbers. There you go. Looks like everything back here on the, on the, uh, quiet! On the cameras are looking good. I'm hoping that this wind dies down here pretty soon because dad's gonna catch up to me in the bean planter real quick and I need to get the bean burned down ahead of him. And they're talking maybe a little chance of rain tomorrow and then kind of cold temperatures, and then the day after that, really windy, and I can't spray when it's windy, but Dad can plant when it's windy, so I need to keep this thing moving. So I guess in the meantime, we're gonna fill these two seed boxes with beans, bring it out to the field, bring the field trailer home, leave this in the field, then I need to fill that semi up with diesel, and then hopefully by that time the winds die down a little bit, I'll need to bring that to the field, get a ride back here to get the sprayer, then bring that to the field, and hopefully I can get a load or two off. All right, we better get these loaded because Dad's gonna be calling here any minute, probably needing seed. Uh, yeah, I need these two. Sure does make the dust cloud behind me when we go down the road. Can't even see the planter hardly. I tell you what though, they put some nice white rock down on this road. Not everyone's fortunate to get this nice, beautiful white rock. Look at that. It's dusty rock, that is for sure. Wowza. Planner's gonna be white, haha. <laughs> Pun intended, cause it's a white planner, ha <laughs> ha. So you should be able to bring this up to dad, grab the fuel truck that's there, bring that to Cooper seed tender, bring Cooper seed tender to him. Okay, perfect. Sable's gonna run off and go fill up. Dad, I'm gonna get the semi ready. <laughs> Might as well get the fluids and stuff checked in the sprayer while the semi's filling up with air. <laughs> Melvin's. We have 145 acres over here. I'd really like to get this done tonight. It's gonna take me about an hour and a half. I don't have much sunlight left, so let's see if we can do it. Now it may or may look pretty dark on your guys' end, but we got her done. Now we need to bring everything home. Where'd you come from, little buddy? <laughs> hey, bud. Oh, you look so cute. I like how his natural instinct is to come up to a really noisy, smelly machine in the middle of the night that he's never seen before. Just come hang out. <laughs> Dogs are funny. All right, buddy, you better go home. After planting for two days now, we have 600 acres planted. We're gonna really start getting our legs stretched out here on some bigger, longer fields. So stuff is gonna be moving really quickly. But just wanna remind you guys, we have Cornstar Farms merch available through the link in the description. 
And this is the end of the video. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.